Hello, uh, my name is Milan. We're on Next Play today. Uh, and, and your name? Riley. Nice to meet you, Riley. Likewise. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me. Um, so, w what year are you in school? I'm a junior. Oh, okay, very nice. And are you from Chicago? Uh, I'm from Woodstock, Illinois, so not really, but suburbs. Yeah. Outside yeah. But Illin in Illinois. Yeah. And uh, what are you studying? Uh, mechanical engineering. Wow. Very nice. Do you, do you know what you want to go and, and do after school? Um, I got an idea. I really like cars, but um, I mean, other than that, uh, you know, we'll see where the wind takes me. <laughs> Fair enough. And how did you how did you know you wanted to study mechanical engineering? Um, I, I don't know. I always like tinkering with things. Uh, I like technology. I like watches and I don't know. I just, I've always liked that sort of stuff. and. It's sort of tough to do, so uh, I figured I have a good shot uh, at getting an opportunity if nobody else is trying to do it. So, in terms of school, like why did you decide to go to school instead of maybe trying different work? Like, did you did you go directly from high school to college? Um, pretty much. I took a gap year after my first year, but um, yeah, uh, mechanical engineering, doing it sort of anything engineering, you sort of need a degree. Um, so I just figured that UIC would be a pretty good option for me. And how has school been? Like, has it been really challenging? Like, what keeps you going when it's when it's hard? Um, all my friends who I've made at UIC definitely keep me going. Uh, but no, it's the curriculum is is awful. It's, awful? <laughs> it's terrible. But it's it's you know. Uh, what makes it so bad? Um, it's mechanical engineering. I don't know. It's just you can't conceptualize all this stuff once you get into the junior level classes. It's terrible. It's but you know. We'll get is there. it useful stuff? Like you think it'll be useful to your work? Yes, that's the one thing I noticed. Get it becoming a junior, junior, um, all the stuff that we're starting to learn is becoming more and more like, oh, I get to apply this knowledge. I get to use it. You know, where where I couldn't have before in earlier classes, I've get, reached like a threshold. You know, so where it becomes applicable now, all the formulas and stuff, which is cool. And do you use AI at all in your work or in school? Oh yeah, I think I think um, everybody does. Um, assisting with um, thermodynamics problems, getting uh, getting proper equations, making sure I'm doing things right, uh, helping uh, uh, you know check essays and stuff like that. Definitely. And what do your professors say? Are they cool with you using it? Do they recommend it? Or do they try to tell you not to use it? Oh yeah, um, I would definitely say professors and TAs, they they are pretty open about it. Um, they just don't want you to use it on final projects, stuff like that. Um, but no, yeah, they're, you know, for homework and stuff, I mean, I, I don't say they would advocate it, but um, they definitely, uh, they definitely aren't, uh, you know, iron fists, you know. They, uh, my TAs use it and they are open about it, so okay. yeah. And what's what's life like on this campus here? Like, what is the Chica the the University of Illinois at Chicago population like? Um, it's really really diverse. Like, lots of different types of people. Um, and yeah, I've never had a like a a friend group like I have now with just all sorts of people from all over the world, which is crazy. But yeah, I'm just from the suburbs, and like, you know, I know people who are like half the people in my friend group are not born here and it's like it's just really cool because you know friends with everybody all sorts of different perspectives you feel like it's a real melting pot like it's not like there isn't a lot of um i don't know anger or strife it's more like people are open to difficult conversations and i don't know talking about the way the world is and and being open like what is it like oh yeah i would definitely say that i feel like um a lot of people in like I don't know, you see it in the media, everyone's like, college, you know, you can't talk about what you want to talk about, but I, I, I just don't see that. I don't know, all my friends, like, with their, from everywhere, and it's just like, we talk about, like, everything, you know, so it's like, I just, I just don't feel like, uh, I don't feel like, you know, people are, you know, making me not say things, or I can't say certain things around, you know, the people here. I'm, it's pretty open. Would you, would you call yourself an extrovert? Um, I like 50-50 in out, I guess. Sometimes both. Yeah, because I like, I don't know, I like going out and doing things, but like sometimes I don't want to, I don't know. Yeah, 50-50. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And how, so like, how did you find that group of friends on campus? Um, just going to the classes, you know, show up to class. Um, if you show up to class, you'll, you'll, you'll become friends with a lot of people. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, I don't know. I haven't really had time for stuff outside of class, so. 
probably just showing up to class. <laughs> Fair enough. And when you graduate, what is your what are your, what's your thought process when it comes to finding your first job or finding work? Um, hoping to get one through an, uh, an internship. I've already had one internship, so hoping to get another one this summer and one, well, probably not one after that, but because um, then I'll be graduated, but hoping to get one uh, through an internship uh, and then go from there. How do you, how do you get these internships? Um, like LinkedIn, um, the career fairs was a good place to, um, to look for stuff, but um, applying online too, just like looking up companies you like and just applying online. That's how I've gotten responses at least, you know, get denied, but you know, you get responses. Um, and also the professors here. A lot of the professors work at Fermilab, Argon Lab, like all sorts of places. So it's like, it's, it's really What are cool. those? Those are like... Yeah, they're, um, they're labs in Illinois, so Argon and um, Argon is... Um, they do stuff with the Department of Energy and Fermilab is, you know, they've got like a particle accelerator and stuff. So um, they do a bunch of research there. Um, I had an internship at, at Argon, but um, yeah, no, uh, the professors, they work at, you know, labs like that and they offer opportunities to the students, which I think is really unique because, you know, I have friends that are going for the same degree at other schools and they don't have those opportunities. So. What's, what's maybe the hardest part uh, of, of life right now? Money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so paying for school, are you working on the, on the side? Yeah, yeah, working and going to school. Um, part-time work, full-time school. What do you do for part-time work? Uh, I work at the Apple Store. You work at the Apple Store? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And do you ever think to yourself, like, I, I wish I was doing something part-time that was, like, contributing to the major or, like, the direction you want to go? Because, like, does that help in the direction you want to go in? or? Um, I'd say it definitely helps. It doesn't hurt. Uh, it looks better than, you know, I worked not at, like, anything. yeah, not doing anything, but having Apple on a resume is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but um, I would definitely love to, you know, have something towards my major, definitely. Because, yeah. yeah, I mean, helping out with tech, tech problems is one thing, but, I don't know, designing things for, you know, products and, you know, materials and stuff like that, I feel like would be really cool to have, but, you know, we'll get there. What's the coolest part of working at Apple? Um, best and worst. Best and worst. Um, there's, a, again, a lot of different kind of people there. Uh, I've made a lot of really cool friends. Um, and then, oh, worst. Um, you get shamed for not using Apple products. <laughs> yeah. Because, oh, well, not really shamed, just your coworkers are like, what the heck, you know? Like, Why aren't you? I, <laughs> I, recently, I recently got one of these bad boys. Wow. So my friends and I, we've been, we've been playing around with uh, flip phones and stuff, but yeah. No way, wait, yeah. why? Tell me that story. I, I don't know, I just like, I've got, I, it's distracting. I don't That's know, I've got a, yeah, I, I still have it, but like, I don't know. I, I just like, uh, you know, I want to take a break, you know, sometimes, so. Uh, and get, your friends and you all like similar in age? Uh, between, yeah, about f plus or minus four years, five, three years. So like 25, 19. Um, Everyone's on this flip phone vibe. Yeah, almost. We're getting, we're getting, we're, we're moving them over. Yeah. <laughs> That's really interesting. So you all call each other a lot? Um, well, yeah, it's a lot quicker than texting on a flip phone. Um, but yeah, calling is a lot quicker. That seems atypical for Gen Z, right? Like. I've, yeah, I mean. I, I don't know, everybody that around my age, I feel like is pretty open to it because like we grew up with it. So like we can like, I don't know. I feel like people, uh, people can, people are pretty plastic. They can, they can move around really quickly. People, and I feel like a lot of people don't realize that, but like, yeah, people can change very quickly and they, you know, they just need to like go do something. I don't know, but it's, that's, that's what, that's also what it's been an exercise in is just like, you know, I, you can not have a phone for a while, and you can have a phone for a while. It's like, one isn't better than the other, it's just like, I don't know, it's just fun. Okay, just a, a slight pivot, like what is culturally on campus, like from a political standpoint, what do you see on campus? Like, are people really open about talking about politics, especially as we go into an election year? Like, what is the sentiment like on campus? Are people active? Do people not want to talk about things like that? Oh yeah, um, lots of, I mean, at least my friends, you know, with everything going on right now, uh, everybody's been um, very like open with um, just just their you know voicing, speaking out for what's right and like what 
what they really believe. And I feel like everybody's pretty um, not really afraid to uh, not really afraid to talk about that sort of stuff um, or you know show you know who they are. And have an opinion. Mm-hmm. But I mean. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, you see it, you know, UIC has been, like, pushing a lot, you know. It's just, like, all of the students gathering for protests and stuff like that. And it's just really cool to see because, like, you know, people sticking up for, you know, what they believe in, you know, no matter, you know, what somebody or some, you know, somebody may say. And do you see, like, the side of that, though, that's, like, people that don't go to the protests or don't share in that? And, like, how are they treated? Like, how does that, how does that conversation go? Um... I mean, people who don't participate in protests and stuff like that, I, I wouldn't say get treated any or differently or, um, or, or, or ousted, I would say. I wouldn't say that. Um, I would just say that, I mean, you know, people, even people that I know who have very strong opinions about um, certain things are not, you know, they, they won't oust people or, uh, or really treat anybody differently. Um, you know, if they're, you know, just in classes with them or see them around because, I mean, you know, they, you know, they may think differently, but, I mean, at least the people that I hang out around, it's just, you know, treat everybody with respect and stuff like that. Makes sense. You were, sorry, an electrical engineer or mechanical oh, engineer? Mechanical. mechanical engineer. So what would be your piece of advice or wisdom that you would give to another young person who's trying to get into mechanical engineering? Um, show up to class. Uh, show up to class and... Um, show up to class just show up to class because I mean I haven't been showing up to a lot of classes this semester I'll be honest but it's it's a lot easier when you do it's a lot easier when you do uh, you know show up to class and yeah make friends talk to people um, and uh, deep dish Chicago pizza are we a fan or not a fan good with me do you feel like your college degree here at UIC is preparing you to be able to be a mechanical engineer at Apple someday uh, I definitely think so um, because, I mean, working there and seeing what the culture is like and what is needed and going to school here and seeing what I need to do to, like, mend those together is really nice. I feel like it sort of got, like, the cheat codes because, like, I can see what is required in the culture at the workplace that I want to work at and what requirements I need to mend those two together. And I feel like UIC is definitely... You know, just with the staff that UIC has, is they definitely, you know, definitely preparing. Do you need a degree to get that job? Yeah, yeah. They require a degree and most times two years of experience in the field. Um, but, yeah. Makes sense. Well, thank you so much for speaking with me today.